Hey everybody, it's Tim. So, hear me out. Only 5% of the people who are watching my channel have subscribed. The rest didn't. If you can consider to subscribe, I'd really, really appreciate it. Now, let's get back to the video. And I hope you would enjoy it. Oh, good man. Put me in the video. Put me in the new, uh, the next video. <laughs> Alright, I'll try. Hey everybody, it's Timo. So basically, in today's video, we're going to break down Barbarian very quick. We're gonna quickly go over Barbarian and what makes Barbarian so damn strong and so damn powerful. About the class in general, about the counters and uh, what this class is capable of doing as well um, as uh, general Barbarian uh, idea. And anyway, let's get to it. And uh, first thing first, what makes Barbarian so damn strong? Now this class already, even without any gear, is really fucking strong. It has over 150 health, it's um, have a lot of strength, it's capable of doing a lot of damage. Now this class has very good perks that are gonna counter um, basically two existing classes that um, are in the game, which is Warlock and uh, Wizard. Pretty much, while it's not gonna counter it completely, it's gonna give you advantage um, in um, basically the combat against those classes. Now, what makes Barbarian so damn good? Now, Barbarian as itself isn't that broken as a lot of people are saying. Like, the problem with Barbarian is the way the gear scales it. Like, the way the gear scales this class. Now, if you look at the Barbarian, what does this class has? Like, it doesn't really have that much, it's not too quick, it's have, uh, I would say, around 300 move speed, and um, this is just a tanky class, it has some power, and simple as that. But the problem is not the Barbarian, it's the gear that you're gonna have. The better your gear, the better the class is. Pretty much the same concept works for every other class, but the problem is the Barbarian is already strong and a Barbarian already have lots of health. Now what does a Barbarian need? Barbarian needs a little more move speed and he's gonna become a massive counter to majority of classes. Now what classes do we even have in the first place? Let's take a quick look and let's get into the breakdown. So basically the rope squishy but fast if you have a barbarian that fully built in move speed you're gonna be both quick do a lot of damage fast you will be able to catch up this guy you're gonna do a better rogue than the rogue itself you're gonna do more damage so basically the barbarian with move speed gonna be a better rogue uh -oh. Uh -oh. because if uh -oh. you build move speed on a rogue you're simply gonna be fast you won't be able to do a lot of Whoever's damage, below you, me. Build damage. I need your help. you won't be fast and you will be a piece of cake to barbarian and majority of uh -oh. other classes unless you are extremely cautious. For the love of God. And uh, basically the next one we have a uh, Ranger, Wizard and Warlock. Now these three classes, they have one thing in common, they're squishy most of the time. And basically this is what Barbarian does. The moment Barbarian gets into the range with a uh, very squishy class, uh, Barbarian gonna slice them up in two to three hits at the end. going down the floor. Now we also have a cleric. Cleric could possess some health to Barbarian if Barbarian is not very cautious. Now cleric could be built in many ways uh, with smite, with uh, judgment, with no speed, with PDR. Cleric with PDR and smite is your biggest threat to Barbarian, but the point is if you are a Barbarian and you're fighting the cleric, you should use your brain a little and keep the distance. You gotta wait out the duration of all the buffs and make sure that the cleric doesn't really have smite on so you don't get too tapped in the head. And the moment the cleric is out of buffs, out of spells, he becomes a piece of cake. You simply walk up to him and slice him in 3 to 5 heads, depends on, depends on his build. Also we have a bard. Now if you see a bard, you simply yell at him. Most of the time they die before you even start, but um, sometimes normally not a big deal part to possess a threat when the uh, like you know sing their songs while sharing their pants while trying to run away from 
So then we also have to get the fighter is damn strong. Now there is a two types of fighter that are currently exist in the game, it's a Slayer and PDR. Now the Slayer doesn't really have um, much survivability, even though if you build your Slayer with 160 health you're still gonna be squishy um, and you're likely not gonna have much PDR, so if you get hit twice by a Joyhander you're likely to die. Now PDR is different. <laughs> Um, PDR possess a lot of threat to barbarians and um, basically yeah, like a good PDR fighter and a decently good ranger possess a lot of threat to barbarian. So basically now we go back to barbarian, like this is the whole point. Barbarian counters too many classes with uh, move speed build. Now move speed build is very easy to make. and. Um, consider how many rogues there is in the game, you simply go kill a bunch of rogues and you take that stuff. This whole build I got a so few games, I was running with doing my zero to heroes, like usual, I don't really run much gear, nor do I really have much gear in the first place, and um, I don't really like to run the best gear, uh, I simply don't really have best gear, my game crashed too often, so I don't really bring anything to I always play with, you know, Just kill me. mid gear that I got from a previous game or something. So, Wait anyway, a minute. Basically, is that Demo? Barbarian, as is, it's not broken. Like, yeah, I appreciate it, bro. Barbarian, just like, I don't think it was intended to be so fucking fast. Like, and the reason why it's so fast isn't because of the Barbarian itself, it's because the way the gear works in this game. Like, the gear can make you extremely fast. And when the classes already have lots of health and a lot of damage, a gear that's gonna scale your barbarian to be also uh, fast, strong, and uh, you know healthy. This is what makes it broken, because now all it takes is simply press W, and people gonna go to Reddit and cry that this class is broken for a very simple reason: because you are already strong, healthy, and you are fucking faster than them. And this is what basically makes this class somewhat broken in a way. Um, now. While you may be fast, there is the classes and there is other barbarians that will beat you up if uh, they have a little different um, build. Now let's say a fighter could beat you up, um, ranger could beat you up, other barbarians that have uh, gear that are specced into, you know, PDR and health also gonna beat you up. You just simply avoid them and you're gonna have an easy life. And when you simply use your advantages in order to, um, you know, kill the classes that you can kill, you're basically gonna become kind of unstoppable. Like you would be able to go from game to game slaughtering everyone. And they simply yeah. just go to Reddit and complain that this class is fucking broken. It is broken. It is. But. Um, you know what else is broken? <coughs> um, yeah, so, well, anyway. Now, let's get back to perks really quick. And, um, we go over. Now, there is a Savage, which makes... We give you 10% physical damage bonus. Now, which other class has uh, additional physical damage bonus when you're not wearing nothing? This perk simply make you faster and make you stronger when you're not wearing, wearing anything. This literally benefits you when you just don't do nothing, you know? You don't wear nothing and you're fucking 10% stronger, you know? Like, robust, like 15% max health, just like that. And there's one more perk that I want to include, which is Iron Will. Like 100%, well, not 100, 100 magic resistance with 100 magic resistance on you're gonna have around 30% magic resistance. This is kinda strong. This basically is going to counter um, warlocks and wizards pretty hard. And uh, basically, this would make barbarian so strong. 